Last time on RPG Pals Club, the ever-industrious individuals were gussied up for the opera, only to find that the erstwhile sponsor murdered. Harbors a grudge against Kerr and the Zintarum. Let's see what happens to them after the curtains go down. Uh, get it? Curtains? Curtains. I'm... Curtains. Hi, <laughs> Mr. RPG Pals Club. Hello there, Luke. How are you today? I've entered your domicile once again. You cannot stop me. You cannot stop me. I am an inevitable force. <laughs> so are we just like a full musical podcast now? No, Mr. No, RPG didn't. Pals, did you <laughs> see Phantom of the Opera this weekend? I fought that phantom boss in Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Grant Kirk Hope did a very good job on that soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I also no. thought it was good, but I think it's kind of dumb that they have all those collectibles, but then they don't have a way to see like what specific sections of levels missing collectibles are in. Right. Mm. Anyways, well, like, yeah. episode, episode, episode. <laughs> playing Lavenia Drexel and no other character. I am a regular sorcerer bard who is a human. Wink. I'm Eric. I am Oi, the punk drow monk. He likes to punch things and shred things on his guitar. I'm uh, Madison Rowan. I am playing Koyos, the crocodile lizard folk druid. And alongside me, I have the most important character on this whole podcast. It's Barry the dog. He's a very good boy. My name is Gar Atkins, but you can call me Sahoni. I use he, him, and I play Dodger, a cleric of sorts who's also a wolf boy of sorts. I'm Sam, they, them, and I play as Kerr, the warforged warlock that works for the Zentarum. And I'm Luke, he, him, and I'm your game master. So you just got done seeing the fall of Tiamat at the opera, and things were awkward because Mert uh, basically wanted to get you to work with him, but also did not trust your good buddy Kirk. And everybody is still dressed up very well from the opera, but uh, yeah, you need to make your way back tonight. And Kirk, yes. uh, have you remembered anything that uh, you might want to go and pick up? Oh, well, there is the matter of the paintings. Uh, down by the uh, former Zentarum, briefly Xanathar, now just empty uh, stronghold that we uh, left behind in our last adventure. Uh, and that is down at the dock ward. You are currently in the sea ward, which is northwest, and the dock ward is down in the south. And where is Trollskull Manor? Uh, that is in the northeast. Okay. So pretty much you could go east on uh, Del Zorin Street to get all the way back to your place for the most part. But if you want to go down to the Sea Ward, that may be a bit more of work. So yeah, if the team wants to split up, you are free to do that. I have a question. Can we go to my actual house and we can all get a nice change of clothes? Ooh, where is your actual house? It's where I pointed at on that map in the middle of Castle Ward, in the middle of one of those blocks. It kind of looks like a little L. Um, I would like to say that literally the moment we walked out of the opera, I have already begun taking my clothes off. Yeah, I've, I've, I've spent, I'm just like, mmm, fancy clothes, limit reached, feel uncomfortable now. Just yeah. 
before, don't put them on the ground. Just give them, just don't. I'm not taking them off. I still need something to cover up, but can we change quickly? Soon? Yeah, nudity is frowned upon here, darling. You don't I, to I didn't say I was going to be nude. Yourself. It's I just, too you know, late. I'm already naked. Snake off at the head. Oh, well, <laughs> there's that. I don't see the point in all this. I got fancy for a while, but why do I need to stay fancy? Hmm. Yes. Let's see. I, I'd like to make a note that uh, Oi is wearing his like patchwork vest over his. Uh, he's currently wearing a snake's black snakeskin dress and a top hat that with the hole cut in the top, so that it's mohawk can point out. Um, yeah. And in addition to that, this whole time, by the way, uh, he was wearing his patchwork vest over the dress. It's a very powerful look. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. It makes I believe a we're statement. all sporting very, very powerful looks. Yes. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think uh, I had arm and leg warmers that were blue and a blue sarong on. And uh, also, like, they put blue makeup on me, too, which is a thing. Also, just point of order here, Luke. Did you say it was in the dock ward or the sea ward? And a dock Uh, ward is where I'm from. Yes, it is in the (laughs) dock ward. Okay, so that's in the south. Yep. Uh, Right now, you're in the sea ward. Got it. Yep, you're near uh, the corner of Street of the Singing Dolphin and Del Zoran Street. And Troll Skull Manor's in the north ward? Yes, uh, it is near Del Zoran and Troll Skull Alley. My house is in the middle of Castle Ward. I'll show you later. So, uh, yeah... How do you want to proceed? Because some of you want to change right now. Others, if you don't care about changing, you can probably go and help bring the paintings over. Yeah, no, I'm going to go change. I definitely oh, am. Uh, and I want to check on our new ghost friend. If you look at this map, above the Temple of Seldarine, uh, that next block up, there's a little house that looks like an L. That was my family's house. Uh, Temple of... Oh, okay. Like, right, right where the A is in Castle Ward. Ah, okay. Because my family was... is... <laughs> Very rich, and they have lots of children. I knew it. It's in my notes. Lots of more. (laughs) 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 They worked hard for it. (laughs) Yeah. For for, for those of you who aren't in the know, I have notes of what my character thinks every other character is like, (laughs) and what they have noticed of them. And I want to point out that we have rich down. Yeah. And one was like rich question mark? Yeah, yeah, no, the cure was rich probably. And then that's okay. been upgraded to definitely rich. <laughs> <laughs> And since Navenia tried, what did I try to buy for 10 gold? Uh, you tried to buy like, a guitar a pick. A pair of dice? No, yeah, like a guitar, guitar pick. Uh, <laughs> like, this is a reasonable amount. It's yeah. only a yeah. guitar pick, Michael. How much uh, did it cost? $10? <laughs> N- Nav- Navinia and Navinia's entry s- Yeah, Navinia's entry says half elf question mark <laughs> likes drink and rich. <laughs> Sounds accurate. Um, but actually, I was only drinking that one day. Just a little character note. Perhaps there's a reason for it. <laughs> Perhaps, but this is what it, based off what he has observed. <laughs> oh, sure. sure. <laughs> well, uh, those of you who want to change, go ahead and follow Navinia to the castle ward. I have never been one to uh, keep it in a bushel basket, you might say. So I'm perfectly comfortable. <laughs> Please don't get naked in a bushel basket. <gasps> My light, it's not. It's a water deep saying. We have paintings to pick up. <laughs> oh. No, I was saying we could go that chain so we're not standing out in the dark ward. I mean, I'm fine. I'm wearing, like, an Aladdin-style vest and pants that's tied together with, like, ballet ribbons. The rest of you look ridiculous. Well, I'm wearing a pearlescent black robe and gold leggings with a gold wrap, and, well, I just don't feel like putting it away. Uh, I think I'm wearing a silver vest and no shirt right now. <laughs> <laughs> which I which I have to say, not his ideal look, but the silver vest is nice. It, you know, probably just needs something cover uh, cover up. <laughs> what about just what if we just cool hoods. can we just get some robe or cloaks or like a hood, just something? As long as it's on the way, that's all. I if we can do it all in one trip. I mean, technically everything is on the way if you try hard enough. Yes, yeah, it, it would actually be quicker for you all to just like go back to the house and stop at Castle Ward. But since you can make a full trip out of it. Go Going down to the castle ward to Navenia's place does make sense. That's what the castle ward it is. Yes. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope no one's home. Anyways, let's go. Are you going to be taking a uh, carriage down there? A carriage? Of course. <laughs> All right. Non-singing, <laughs> non- non-singing carriage. One, one caveat. Um, any carriage I'm in is going to be a singing carriage. I believe I said that the last time. Oh, but oh, I had I so much fun last, last time. time. Mm. Didn't we, Koya? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> 
By the and way, at this point, Dodger is going to give a very like shit eating grin. <laughs> Uh, so. while, while all this discussion has been going on, I've been taking that uh, sarong that I had taken off, and I'm turning it into a baby Bjorn for Barry. Oh! <laughs> I have so how much does a carriage cost? So I can mark it off. My chest. Uh, for all of you, it's going to be ten silver or right. ten shards. I will yep. pay that. Oh, are you sure? Oh no, please. As we're going to my house after all. Anyways. Well, I'll get the next leg. Okay. I've got the lovely bunch of dragon teeth. Do, 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 do. There they are, standing in a row. Chomp, chomp, chomp. And I <laughs> sing all the way to my house. I'm staring at Cure, just very intently. <laughs> <laughs> just thousand yard stare. Yeah. <laughs> come on. I'm come just together. having the time of my life. Hand I don't know the lyrics, brushing. but I'm attempting. Yeah. I teach you. There are hand gestures to go along. It's like the spider and the water spout. Oh my it's... god. <laughs> What's the Daddy name of that? Shark do 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 do. Hand is it's... firmly on the hilt of my rapier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not singing along, but I'm uh, but I'm very much encouraging it. Like, yeah, okay. it's great, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Just mm. taking a sip from my uh, from my water skin. <laughs> I watch. So you arrive at the outside of the house, and what does it look like? It looks like, well, a, a rather well-to-do house that could also be a couple of different shops, like used to be, um, because across a couple of the, like, there's a pair of doors on the front that are a bit spaced apart, which could be like a main entrance and a side entrance, but the side, they have little um, billboards, not billboards, <laughs> that's too much, a little hanging wooden signs. Mm -hmm. um with my family's insignia i guess yeah do i recognize the insignia oh you might it's like one of those small things like if a restaurant is owned by like the same owner or like a few restaurants are owned by the same owner yeah like you can totally ignore it but sometimes they're just using the exact same stock image Mm -hmm. like in columbus there's weirdly enough a place called the happy greek and the mad greek that use the exact same stock image of a greek man (laughs) (laughs) and it's just Just decide uh, which emotion you want it's a matter of mood It's it's three hands and five stars. Like the hands are on the bottom, sort of like holding up, and then there's a space, and it's got five different stars, mm-hmm. different color. And a Greek man. And there's a Greek man <laughs> no. on our doorstep. <laughs> Shirt off. <laughs> Shirt off, smoking. You know. Yeah. That's just how it be. <laughs> oh, Nikolai, how are you? <laughs> Lavinia. Lavinia, how are you? I'm I'm good, Pedro. Uh, what what are the horses like today, my friend? They are uh, very hungry. Do you have coin for your uh, brother? <sighs> He's not. Uh, I don't know. I've never met this. Person. Anyways, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I I, put, I hand him a colt and I walk in like that's. Just open the door and walk past. Come on. <laughs> Have a good night. Have a good night. <laughs> you spontaneously created an NPC from Yeah, this nothing. is another ward that I don't frequent often, so I've 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 spent a lot of time hanging my head out the the carriage. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm following it. And are you like trying to get everybody to be quiet? Or... Um are they being rather loud? It's it's the group. We just arrived on a singing carriage. <laughs> yeah, that's about as loud as you can get. So I bring you into the lobby, and it's a classic gene lab. There are stairs that go up, and there's rooms off to the side. There's a little hallway back to go to more rooms. <gasps> Whole oh, library? It's a bit like there is not here. We have a small collection, but it's not not anything like... Anyways, um, so... Dodge is already uh, going to look at them. Oh, no, that's just not... That's not... <laughs> As you, like, go in, you see a uh, cat person, a tabaxi. Uh, His ears notices. are up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what does this tabaxi look like, Nivinia? They are, like, a, a calico spread, but, like, little stripes on their face and, like, little white poofs right around their mouth. So it looks like they had a big cappuccino. <laughs> it's just their little, little mouthy scruffs. Uh, and they are, are tall and lean. And uh, we're, obviously, Nivenya walks over and says, like, Ah, Cappy. Hi. Uh, yes. 
How are you doing, Lavinia? I'm doing great. Just having some fun with friends. Uh, how's the uh, election? On uh, Scouting? What are you? I don't. You go to the houses? I don't know. It seems like a mess. Anyways, these are some friends. Uh, everyone, this is my sibling, Cappy. Uh, Dodger looks very puzzled for a second as he looks back and forth, and then he nods. Hello, everyone. A pleasure to meet you. Yeah, he get he get a, he he gets it. Hello. There. Um, if you see their face on a ballot, I would suggest you vote for them. They got some really interesting ideas about integration for the wards. Always mm. looking up for. I'm ideas. listening. Anyways, we're just here for a mo. Gonna get some hoods. Can we borrow? I like look at Cappy. I'm like, you're about. Here's um you're both kind of thin. Yes, could we borrow one of your traveling clerks? It's just been a heck of an evening and we it's not over yet and I wanna go back to the house. Also I'm moving out. Oh again. But like this time for real. Not for the other time that we did don't talk anyways, the, but this time. Do not tell a Trekkie about Oh no. Moving out, yes. No. I mean I uh, I'm still not officially uh, moved out from the first time I moved out. No, no, I understand, but you know they you do not take from family. Yes, and that includes you other family who have lives of their own. Anyways, it's fine. Yes, yes. Hmm. <laughs> are they home? They're always home. But they're out. Are they, are they home? You did not have to walk over them? Out that, on the stoop? That was, no, that was Pedro. No, that was a Trekkie. That, I cast back, I'm like, that's not, oh, they're so <laughs> dirty now. I couldn't tell, I'm sorry. Does that make me a bad sibling? No. We all I have... keep my gold. Oh, well. I know they're just gonna spread it on Dreamleaf. Yes. Uh, anyways, I'll go bring him a sandwich when I come back out. Anyways, about your cloak. Can we borrow it? Yes. Yes. Uh, right. Yes. Oh, yes. You said yes. Okay. Yes. 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 And we have the hospitality cloak. Right. 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 Oh, are those. Still, uh, oh. Right. <laughs> a bit out of fashion, but uh, they'll do. They'll do. Yes, you don't want to yes. be too flashy. Anyways. Exactly. <laughs> And then I just look at the rest of you. Do- uh, Dodger's like, what are uh, what are your proposals on the current import fees in the dock ward? Uh, it is a complicated issue because we must take into consideration who is going to be benefiting the most from the fees. And if it is not going to be those people who actually work at the docks for a living and those who spend their lives trying to make a living off of what is being imported then we can ultimately be causing more damage, and it promotes smuggling, which endangers the lives of all those in Waterdeep. Dodger gives him a, gives them a nod, like, cool. <laughs> you understand that the, the smugglers are just trying to work around those systems, often trying to make a living them, themselves. It, it sounds like you have, you understand this, but just do keep it in mind. So I come back with the robes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, uh, at this point, Dodger's going to kind of uh, lean in and be like, man, I didn't know you had siblings. Yes, I'm one of five. I wish I had some. No, you don't. Anyways, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> nope. And uh, how shabby are the hospitality clothes? They are not bad, actually. It's more of, you can tell the- Color. Yeah, like the color isn't great. It would have been fashionable maybe two years ago. Yeah, they're like a bunch of rust colors and like a bright mustard yellow and some (sighs) olive greens. Oh my god. Heck yeah. I'll take a green one. Yeah. Take the mustard. The sooner we can do this, the better. I, God, I can't let Morn see me like this over this. I Yes, quickly. Cloaks. Yes. And I have a cloak and it's like dark purple and like black shimmery on the outside. All right. I just take whichever one's left because I don't got any taste. I'm just, everyone's taking them and I'm like, all right, I guess we're doing this now. Yeah, I have my own cloak. I don't have a <laughs> house cloak. Um, <laughs> is everyone uh, taking one? There's not much question. hiding you, is there? Not really. I think the mustard yellow would go great with your scales. <laughs> I don't know much about colors, but yellow is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Can you see them? Colors? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what colors are, Dodge? I mean, I'm mostly human, right? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. that is a very important thing. Yes. Anyways, their new friends haven't vetted them yet. We're working on it. I mean, it's a bit harder in the dark, but that's different because it's dark. Well, there's only I the one color in the dark. Out Black. the door. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of pushing us. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I stop by a Trekkie and I, I like I wipe their face and underneath that brown, they have very pale skin and I kind of like brush their hair back. I'm like, how are you doing, darling? Are you OK? Do you want to go inside? I am not allowed in until I uh, apologize with the mints. Uh, OK. I'm sure whatever you do, you are completely justified. Yes, I, I, I justified needing money. Of course. I made you a sweet roll. And by made, I mean got. I got you a sweet roll. I heard you say you were getting sandwich. <laughs> and she got to you a sweet roll. Yes. A sweet roll is a sandwich if you really think about that. Now think about that very hard until I get back, okay? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Can, I, can I, like, pat their head and stand up? Good night, Nikolai. It's very close every time. That's okay. <laughs> and the uh, like carriage that you had hired is still just waiting out here. Yeah, because <laughs> it's it's good service, and you mm-hmm. like paid well. Next leg, yes. Mm-hmm. We all have our our cloaks on now, I guess. And so you uh, get down briefly, traveling through the trades ward until you get into the dock ward and find yourselves back at the Zentarum hideout, which we're passing by some of the big statues. It looks like we're going on by the map. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And uh, you get in, like, the city watch had been by, but they've, like, closed this case. They got what they were looking for and did not investigate that well. Mm-hmm. So you're able to find the four paintings that you had. Classic city watch. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Are there any more of those silver bars? Probably took those. No. Yeah. Yep. You got all the silver bars. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, those we were able to take. and They just, like, fit in pockets or whatever. Yeah, yeah we had three each. Exchange. Did we exchange them? Between each I other. Think you, My oh, okay. you, you divided them. Divided. <laughs> yes, yeah, we divided, we divided them. What I said. <laughs> so now I just have three big rocks. Yes, yeah. you have three big rocks. And four big canvases. And four good friends. <laughs> just so many good friends. And so you head back up, find your home again on Troskol Alley, and you actually notice that there is a bum 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 bum, a dog barking at a tree. <laughs> dog! One of you. I- just wow. diving wow. out of the fucking cart the moment it stops. <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> Dodger I... also fully alert, ears tall, tail behind him. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this other dog? <laughs> I, I looked at no, Vinya. Is it a, a territory thing or a. I don't know. It, maybe it's just out of towners thing. I don't know. <sighs> maybe they're from Baldur's Gate. It makes oh. sense. I wish to pet this dog. (laughs) And uh, so this new dog that you have is, and I am bringing it in for those of you who, for whatever reason, do not follow us on Twitter. We are having dog votes. Uh, So this dog is a very tiny, long-haired dog with uh, black ears, uh, submitted by Kelsa on Twitter. Yeah. Um, Mariposa Mewington. It looks like a dog that's a butterfly. It's... (laughs) So cute. Black and white. It's got a tiny little nose and it's hopping all over. Aww. And Aww. it is barking at uh, a what looks like a cat in the tree. I would like to do some uh, dog handling to see if I can pick up the new dog. <laughs> all right. Yes, it's actually animal uh, handling, not dog handling. <laughs> no, it's dog handling. It's, it's only yeah. specifically for dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Or birds are just animated. completely yeah. out of luck. If you have expertise <laughs> in dogs, you add your permission to <laughs> <laughs> 17 for animal handling uh yeah you're able to get the tiny dog into your hands and uh they sniff berry berry sniffs them and they are both more interested in them and the cat noting you comes down out of the tree looks at you does two circles and then says Interested in joining the Emerald Enclave? Come meet us at Falconmere in the Southern Ward. Oh god, we've got druids. This pointy dog is speaking! No, the cat said that. It's a cat. No, that's what they said. They said in character, because they don't know what a cat is. Everyone else heard that, right? Uh, Okay, thank you. Goodbye now. The cat has stopped acting abnormally and has wandered off. Seems like we're a hot commodity. Word gets around. That's what happens when you mess with the guilds. The house... Is it the house? Is it a property thing? I feel like it's a property thing. Oh, like when you get the mail and it says to current resident. Yes. Like it's or just our neighbor. Here. Yes. Oh, welcome to the neighborhood. Here's a sofa. I don't want a sofa. I have a sofa. Well, we Actually, could use a sofa. Yeah, now that I think about it, I said it out loud, we could use a sofa. We should get a sofa. I'm just glad to have my own room. Everything I own, I was carrying around in a backpack. It gets hiring. Oh, yes, I'm moving things in tomorrow. I so excited. But for tonight, let's go inside. 
It's cold outside. In the yard. That's weird. Yes, inside. With the paintings and yes, a, yes, yes, a, yes. another dog, I guess. But Godric's going to help carrying the paintings. And when he comes in, he'll say, Lif, we're home. The uh, like door opens up in front of you as you're carrying the painting. <sighs> Thank you. You're a darling. And all of you are able to get settled in easily unless someone well i think uh unfortunately oi is still going to be having some problems based on what he ate for breakfast mm. but, uh, uh, i i should note that oi's uh notes d- does say it doesn't like gluten even yeah. though i'm yes. not sure if dodger has a concept of gluten <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so everyone is able to get to sleep, and I assume everybody sleeps well at night? Uh, yeah. Dodger, like, wanders about and kind of, uh, until he picks a room, and then he picks some place, uh, with a window. Nevenia, uh, goes up into the roost, and then puts something heavy over that trap door, and goes to sleep like a normal human would. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Koyos has that one room that has, like, the extra room attached to it that he punched the hole in the door for- For, for your barracks. dogs? <laughs> yeah. Yep. It has a dog hole now, so the dogs have their own separate room. Which, hey, by the way, this new dog that I have gotten, do I recognize it as one of the dogs I lost at the beginning? <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, yeah, perfect. They're finding you. Yes. You're gonna have 30 dogs. <laughs> <laughs> by the end of this, I am- I am the dog shepherd. This is why I took the shepherd, uh, thing <laughs> for a true <laughs> There you go. I need I'm I'm tr- I I need to find the map of the house to see if I pick a room in particular. Oh, uh, and what about uh Oi? Uh, I think Oi would try to find like some place, you know, like in the basement since that's where it's more natural like if there's any place for him to sleep down there. Uh yeah, like right now there are some old barrels in there but nothing that's actively like being used. So you're able to just like find some uh like burlap sacks that were on the ground and it's like oh damn multiple sacks yeah <laughs> yeah so he kind of like <laughs> stitches them together and makes a big sleeping bag and cuddles up on the floor yep. maybe some old oh. empty casks as well yeah but how big are the casks in the uh basement uh they're like normal barrel size so i mean you could probably get into them but it would not be comfortable okay so like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to think like normal barrel size yeah like the first thing that popped into my mind was the size of the barrel that donkey kong throws at you so yeah those wouldn't be <laughs> yeah. too, okay they'd be too small all right I love Donkey Kong as our recurring game. <laughs> yeah. It's a universal measurement. Right, exactly. <laughs> could Donkey Kong throw this, yes or no? Uh, could, we la- uh, could we label this uh, this map with whose rooms uh, where? That way I could actually... Kind yeah, of, so I was going to say, uh, mine is the one with the little circle tower, and that other circle, like the third floor and the garrets, both have a little circle tower. Um, mm-hmm. My room's attached to that. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, Koyos, is Koyos second floor mm-hmm. at like the south part. Yep. Yeah, those two rooms. I'll, I'll get a labeled map after the session. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And okay. then I'll, I'll pick out my room then. Just. Okay. Yep. We'll, we'll you have assume. a room. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Rooms I do. Hat. I do very much have a room, but I will pick it out <laughs> later when it's not interrupting the game. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, Oi, are you just sleeping on bags or? Yeah, I think I'm just sleeping on bags for now. Because it's like, because you know, the basement's kind of like the underdark feels the most homey. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dodger is hugging on his backpack, and he is going to take a pendant from around his neck. It's kind of mostly wooden, and it pops up. And inside, there's a there's a scene of a tree against a cutout of some stars that aren't from around here, and it plays a little song, and he's going to listen to. It. Aww. And I think that uh, her had gotten the north room on the second floor. Yes, it's sort of a, a study combination bedroom sort of area. Study library. That you have to walk through to get to Koyos' room. Oh. There's like two, two weird ways. <laughs> I didn't actually realize this at first, but yeah, this is very weirdly set up. Unless Koyos has the little room and the dogs have the big room. <laughs> Which is entirely possible. Oh wait, no. Well, no. Uh, Koyos is on yeah, the third no. floor. Sorry, that was yeah. no, misremembering. Se- second floor. Yeah, second, second floor. F- but still not walk through. I'm still yeah, like they're... in the corner. I'm the upper. I'm in the north, and Koyos is on the south. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's like a room directly connecting Kara and Cloelius' room, but otherwise they have to go through like two other rooms to uh, get around. <laughs> this house setup is very odd, I'll be yeah. honest. And the fact that we have to go like the tavern area downstairs, we have to go outside and around the back of the house to go up to our spaces. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah. So I'm going to be knocking down a wall very soon. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, count me in. Yes. I'm always in the mood to redecorate. Yes. I actually kind of want to draw some of this. <laughs> I set my things out. I take off my clothes. I hang them uh, very neatly. And then I sit in the chair. And that is it. I do not sleep. I sit in the chair. <laughs> a war forged. I don't <laughs> you even need a bed. You can just have like the fanciest throne. Well, in time. Okay. Okay, so we covered everybody? Yes. All right, so morning comes, and is Kerr going to start waking up everybody, or just let them sleep? I'm going to finish my morning routine with my stretches and my ritual, and then I'm going to, quite loudly, start knocking on everyone's doors. Wake up, sun's up, we have things to do, it's a new day, come down to the tavern, we have things to discuss. Dodger's just gonna open his door very rapid and glare. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dodger, up. clean. Do clean yourself up first, but come on down. Meet me downstairs, please. And at that, oh, he's just gonna this. pull his hair back into a ponytail and just follow. <laughs> <laughs> and I go up to the third floor, knock on the trap door for uh, Navinia. Navinia! Ah, ah, yes? Oh. Yes? Did you have company? No. Well, I open the door and just like climb down. I'm completely fine. <laughs> just surprise me. No worries. There's like a single like black and white feather in my hair. Don't worry about that. It's so dusty up there. I wonder if get it cleaned up. Get it all cleaned up soon. Come on, come, come yes. downstairs. Yes, yes, yes. I hook my arm in yours. And we fetch Koyos on the second floor. Koyos. I feel like the moment I open the door, the dogs just. Yes, hello, yes. Aren't you a darling? Look how cute you are, you're so fluffy. Mm-hmm. It's so fluffy and hairy and dusty and dirty and dandery. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Downstairs, Koyos, just we have things to talk about. Fuck, fuck, bug. Okay, I'll be down. Uh, by the way, I have not, there's still like makeup, like kind of like... <laughs> It's messed up on my spirit. face because I haven't really bothered to take it off. It'll come off eventually. It's like oh. when you don't wear makeup for a while and you forget you have it and you go to sleep. <laughs> exactly. Remind me of Morn. Roger's going to be at one of the uh, bar room counter chairs and just slumped over because he works largely at taverns and as, as messengers between shops. These are not his hours. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of not your hours, oi! So, uh, knock on the door to the basement, and you don't hear anything for a while, and then oi just kind of slumps out of the bathroom on the first floor, because again, surface world food doesn't quite agree with him, and he's like, <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, god, oh, that's right, there's this thing called the morning, yeah, hi, ugh, cracks his wait, wait, back in his neck. We'll be getting thick curtains soon for you, I know how sensitive you musicians are. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Barely covered. <laughs> Saved. Not racist if they're magicians. <laughs> and, uh, I don't think that works. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? <laughs> and we're uh, all in the tavern? Mm -hmm. Well, before our little journey to the opera and whatever Mert told you, I wouldn't know, but... Uh, Davil Starsong, one of my good friends with the Zentarum, offered us a job. Now, this doesn't mean that you all have to sign up to be the Zentarum. Be simply doing them a favor. Nothing more. But there have been a series of murders in the Dark War. Some elves were... Well, it's a grisly matter, but they were decapitated. Half-elves, too. Yes, half-elves as well. They have decapitated. I'm sorry, it's morning. I'm not at this. <laughs> no, that was, that was quite good. But, but yes. Uh, fully decapitated, un unfortunately. Thoughts and prayers, thoughts and prayers. <laughs> I just kind of slur sharp things from uh, uh, from between my arm because the head is just still completely slumped over. I kind of reach over and give Dodger a quick little pat pat. I don't he know is. what's going on, but... <laughs> he's an incredibly soft. Oh, oh he's a soft boy. <laughs> now these are the facts I need to know about Dandy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh no. Soft or not. Soft. Now you're just solidifying in Koya's mind that he might be dog. Yeah, they might it's, be dog. It's soft fur, but in the way that like dog fur is soft, so it it has like a slight coarseness to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dodger, dog. Either way. We have things to sell, a lovely amount of silver and paintings that I'm sure could fetch a nice price, and then I say we head to the dock wards and uh, get our detectiving on. Well, I did I got... need a detective, and also there's a blacksmith in the neighborhood. Lovely. I've got to let some people know where I'm staying right now. Okay. Well, are they in the dock yeah. ward? We could do it in the one trip. Yeah, they're in the dock ward. Excellent. I mean, yes. and I don't exactly like the idea of murders going on in my neighborhood either. And I left I don't... a message at my house for my things, smallest, to be brought over here. Death shouldn't be feared, but it should not be taken lightly. And you talk just like that detective I... guy we met. <laughs> A detective? Yes. I wonder if he has any books out about his adventures. That would be exciting to read, wouldn't it? Body and legs that go all the way up and <laughs> smoking crossbows. Oh my god, smoking crossbows. Fucking god. Good, good. I like that. Well, Navinia, did you happen to clock any shops that would be interested in paintings, or is this something that. Oh, um, let's see, there was the library. No, bookstore? Bookstore. That might, you know, want a bit of pizzazz in their walls. Um, I think the detective might, I mean, if you say it's from a murder. Well, we can keep them here, but let's bring the silver to the blacksmiths and do some investigation. Either way, no, I it's time to start. Question. The- uh, are oh, we yes. going to, I, I gesture around the bar, make this a home or try to do something, I, I, I like slightly distasteful look, I'm like, commercial with it. My home now. Yes, yes, it's everyone's home. It's very very lovely, but very big. I know how I, how to run a tavern, more or less. Ooh, but beer is gross. What of mead? Or why? Maybe. What about, like, a place people could come, like a, a hangout, and they could have, they could play games of chance here, and get a little bit of food, and also we could have a board with adventures on it, that way we don't have to go anywhere to get jobs. Dodger kind of scratches his head and thinks about it, he's like, I know some people that would be into that. Yes, because I don't want to compete with any of the bigger businesses. And I look at you, I'm like, you know, we don't have any, we don't have a yawning portal. What are we going to offer? A ghost? You're great, darling. I love you. But I mean, like, a ghost is way less dangerous than, you know, a giant hole in the ground that crap climbs out of sometimes. Uh, Dodger's, uh, Dodger's going to kind of be like, well, this is Lyft's place before it's ours. And we should ask the ghost. Yes. Uh, Do- uh, Dodger is going to kind of take a particularly dusty part of the counter and kind of, you know, be like, you can guide my finger if you want. It says, no need. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's like, would it make you feel better if we brought some life back to this place? Yes. Yes, that solves it. Yes. We can make it a dope-ass party mansion. Eh, I'm like a cure. Parties should be welcomed. Yes, parties of adventures. Yes. I know some kids that w- wouldn't mind a nice place in, uh, out of the rain every now and then, too. We could put them to work. How many dogs can we put in? Uh, do- uh, Dodger <laughs> actually kind of goes, I mean, it would be nice to kind of spread the, uh, my good fortune. Dog yes, cafe. I've been working since I was born. There is <laughs> hesitation, too. Oh. Hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, well, ever since I came to Water Deep, I've been, you know, running around. Anyways, um... Yes, help the community, help adventurers, nice place to get a warm meal, and a mead. You're re- you are really selling this to Dodger, I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Fresh is- biscuits every morning? Is that racist? I don't. I love biscuits. And typically when one does open a tavern, they need a uh, bit of seed money. Yes. Oh. Which, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. We need to buy meat. We need to buy food to cook. I welcome the idea, but we need to get there, don't we? You know who has a lot of food? Druids. What? They can just grow it out of nothing. I look at my yes. hands like, is that something I'm supposed to be able to do? <laughs> <laughs> Navinia, I do so look forward to your menu of Goodberry Six Ways. <laughs> Aid if it's a secret menu. I wink. Here does not wink. <laughs> These are there to eat a berry. <laughs> oh, oh, darling. You don't know so much. Oh, no, berry. <laughs> <laughs> Do we cut to the dog and he goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And that is when a knock 
comes at the door. Oh, I'll get it. I, oh, okay, okay. Do you want to get it? Dodger, should you get oh. Dodger's already got his head back down and given the thumbs up to you already saying you'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Kier cro- crooks his arm out to, for Navinia to join arm in arm again. I hook under your arm. And we go to the door. And we open it together. You can't do that without me imagining you, like, hopping down like you're walking on the golden fucking way to <laughs> the yellow, yellow brick road. road. Yeah, no, I'm very flouncy. You're so cheery this early. How do you do it? I'm back in my regular clothes with the high boots and the tight pants and the flouncy shirt. <laughs> Er, so on the other side of the door is a half-elf with a loot on his back, and he says, uh, I don't know who you are, uh, I'm I'm looking for Oi. Oi hears his name, and it's like, hey, what's up, Perman? Hey, uh, yeah, I tried to look for you at the Yawning Portal, and they said you were no longer there. Yeah, we have a dope-ass party mansion now. <clears throat> I guess it's an alright party mansion. Yeah, we did a thing for a guy, and he just gave it to us. It's a work in progress. Yeah. And there's a, a mostly it's a mensch. Yeah, and there's a sad ghost apparently. Is it fine? <laughs> His name's Liff. Hello, Liff. Ah, uh, oh, sorry. I am a uh, Herbin Torstock. Oi helped to rescue me from the Underdark, and then I was also joined by Koyo oh. on my return to Waterdeep. Well, come in, come in. Don't stand on the porch like a loony. Yes. Uh, oh, I brought in uh, rolls for everybody. Ooh. Hey, my favorite new person. What was your name? Herbin Torstock. Herbin, all right. I take a nibble of a roll and then just hand it to Barry. Aww. Oh. Uh, uh, yes, um, part of my deal with Oi returning me here was that I would assist him with getting in a band yeah yes uh i have good news and bad news okay uh i can be in a band with you but the rest of my bandmates are not interested you know what i'm sure there is there are a uh, plenty of bands that just had two guitarists and had plenty of great adventures like like, you know, th- seeking out a pick of destiny of some sort. And, you know, <laughs> I feel like if we're tenacious enough, then we can make it work. Yes. It's like, I like, uh, there's this band of two deba- Actually, I like one of them. It has a guitar. One of them has drums. Uh, they're called the White Stripes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got there. I-, I know a band that's, uh, well, they're a bit rowdy. Uh, they're two constructs. Um, but they're very good at their jobs. They're called Daft Punk. I've heard of these other guys out in the uh, in the hillside, and they do some uh, big sh- uh, shows. They might be giants, but I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, and I heard there's this one band that's just comprised of like the children of other famous bards. They're called the Offspring. Oh, I mean, of course, we go. all know about our <laughs> alchemical romance. They, of this, course, we all grew up. Oh yeah, they're <laughs> they're the band. I saw them at the Apocrypha. <laughs> Well, and don't forget the Knights and Satan's service. Mm. <laughs> mm, that's very true. Mm. Kind of oh, shady. Those, those traveling Earth Genasi, the Rolling Stones. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's the rest of the podcast. It's fun, that's it. That's it. <laughs> we, can, we finally got there. We've been duping you this whole time. <laughs> uh, Hell yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I hear that like there's this other band that is just comprised of ghosts that all happen to be named Four Hours Later. Uh, they're, they're all comprised of ghosts. They're called uh, the Dead Kennedys, and they're all named oh. Kennedy. That's weird. It's, it's very weird. weird. I uh, like to rock and roll. <laughs> no, no Kennedy. Uh. <laughs> He's in the house. <laughs> Um, I haven't heard of any of these bands. I've been into underground things for a while. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it points and winks at him, thinking that's a pun. Yeah, me too. (laughs) Well, no, uh, part of the problem is I was trying to renew my bard's license, and it's getting denied. Do you need a license to be a bard? To to perform publicly. My eyes open wide. I'm like... (gasps) I should expect mine any time now. I'm very excited. Uh, yeah. Uh, Coralia Rostyle, who I had previously been in the band with, she has gotten some clout and is going to do everything uh, she can to uh, prevent me from getting that license. What did you do? 
We had a really bad breakup. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Have you thought about changing your stage name and signing up under something else? Sometimes with the guilds, you can't get your real name and you have to do something else. She's... She's head of the guild right now. Ooh. There's always so much drama in the local music scenes. It's musicians. I, it. I can't wait. Um, yeah, so I, I figure we can probably approach that if you have some time today. Uh, well, we're uh, going to look up some murders, but I do need to get my paperwork. I feel like I'm capable of casting certain magics, but I don't have permission yet, so I'd like to get that done. It would help for your Zentarum thing. Certainly. I- Let's think of it this way. The murders have been taking place at night. Let's try to get to the Dark Wards before sundown, before so another one clever. takes place. Okay. I mean, like, it, it, w- I, I still don't get why I have to do paperwork to play music. Oh, yes. Oi, let's get you signed up. But, and, and Oi takes the loot from his back and then just starts playing a few notes on it, like a couple riffs. And it's like, yeah, I'm sorry. Apparently I'm doing this unlicensed. It's illegal for me to do this. Another knock. <laughs> <laughs> it's the music, please. Everybody duck. <laughs> oh, or he doesn't realize that you're joking and cracks his knuckles and opens the door. It's like, what's up? <laughs> oh, God. In front of you is a golden uh, dragonborn who uh, says, yes, uh, are you the new owner of Troll Skull Manor? Owners. That's us. Owners, oh, plural. Ah, cool. yes, yes. Plural. How are all of you doing today? Good. Hi. Pretty good. I I represent the consolidated guild movement. Uh, what I offer as my services is to work between the different guilds to help restore buildings. That way, you don't need to have multiple people involved. That would be wonderful. Me and Oi were just out the other day talking about all the different guilds we're going to have to contact. And... Mm-hmm. Since Oi is apparently not happy with the way paperwork is in our city, uh, that would be wonderful of you to help us out with that. Yes. My name is Derek. 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 <laughs> Derek, 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 Derek. Love it. One Derek, three times. Yes. Insight One Derek check. Three times. Can I insight check this meddling fool? This reminds me. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have such a dumb joke. This reminds me of a band I know uh, named Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Oh, you know, I heard one of them got married to Tony, Tony, Tony. That's true. (laughs) 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 But yes, Derek, Derek, Derek. Derek, Derek, Derek. Pleasure to meet you. Here, representative of the sun. Can't stop saying my name. Yes, uh, I do work... Uh, primarily with the Carpenter, Roofer, and Plasterer's Guild and the Cellar and Plumber's Guild, but I also have work with the Launderer's Guild, the Dung Sweeper's Guild, the Loyal Order of Street Laborers, the Guild of Butchers, the Venters, Distillers, and Brewers Guild, Baker's Guild, and I can also help speed things along with the Magus and Protector's Guild. Right. Oh, it's a lot of guilds. You are a godsend. Come in, have a sweet roll. We need them all. Toe to tip, that's what we're going to do. Whole refurbishing. We're going to knock that wall out and put a doorway in and probably close off those stairs. I'm not sure yet. Oh, do you think we could have a stage? We've got a little house band brewing, don't we? (gasps) Yes, we do! Like a stage? Right, we're going to get a stage. I know plenty of performers. Well, I mean, not that many, but I know know the areas where they perform. Absolutely. First things first, these roofs and walls and plaster areas are just... Awful. We need to make sure the foundation yes. is good. Well, uh, if one of you wouldn't mind sticking around to give me a full tour of the house, I can easily get you an estimate. So I have to go to my licensing. Yes, Ooh. yes, you do. You have you have things to do, Navinia. I'll stay here. Okay. Give him the the up and down. No picking up colors till I get back. How about a swath? Okay, give me some swaths. I I I just turn to them and very pointedly say, "Remember, Liff." Oh, yes. Liff, I I'm going to leave out a piece of paper and a note. Liff, yes. If I offer you a few things, just feel free to say yes or no. Write it down here. Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna take Derek all the way around. Let let everyone get to their business. Oh, uh, if we could split up maybe a bit more. Uh, Oi, Lavinia, you have things to do with the but the the Bard <laughs> bards guild. Yep. Yes. Yes. Uh, Koyos, Dodger, we have these lovely silver bars and a blacksmith nearby. 
Uh-huh, Do you think uh-huh. you could run that quick errand? Yeah, as long as it's yeah. on the way. Oh, yes, they're just around the block. We can give these rocks to the guy. Yeah, I can give him the rocks. Just fetch a fair price, will you? Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hold up a finger, I'm like, uh, uh. Do I, would I know how much the silver bars are worth so I can give them, like, a base number so they're not going completely blind? Uh, roll me a... Keep in mind, bad at money. I would like to help her. (laughs) Uh, okay. Yeah, there used to be the appraise check, which was nice for this sort of thing. Dodger's Um, really good at uh, perception and insight, so he shouldn't be that out of pocket here. (laughs) Sure. Uh, you know, both of you, uh, all of you who want to get in on this, roll me a, uh, just an insight check. All right. I so roll an insight check. I mean, I'm underground, so I might know what scrap is. Hey, uh, I nat one, so yeah. I don't know a goddamn Be- thing about silver. They're 16. rocks. This is a rock. 19. Nice. Uh, these are a bit out of what I'm normally dealing with, so 14. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you have the feeling that the bars may be worth about 15 silver pieces. Or 50, 50, 50 silver pieces. Each. Dang. And there's 15? Mm-hmm. Yes. Excellent. Are they like in a bag or something? What? They just kind of. I think I saw an overturned wheelbarrow outside. Yeah, Dodger's not strong enough to carry all these bars by himself. <laughs> I think I actually. That's why I have might coils. Be... Yeah, I might be strong enough to actually carry all of them at once. How much are they all together? Uh, uh seventy-five hundred uh, silver. So seven hundred fifty gold. Is that right? No. Like wait, the actual weight of them. Oh. Oh, that'd be hundred and fifty pounds. Oh boy! Yeah, Do- Dodger's a growing boy. <laughs> where's God? Where's well, you? Don't have to say? carry them far. Okay. <laughs> but yes, so we'll do this. We all meet back here. We'll have an estimate. Then we can uh, head to the dock wards. Oh, we have the Emerald Enclave in- meeting that we've been invited to. Whether yes. they knew it was us or not. If we have time. If we have time. I absolutely can fucking if you have to carry all of this shit. Actually, <laughs> I would love to just know that good berry spell. It'd be so convenient. Well, you did get. The uh, good berry uh, clipping that you had purchased. I did. And I have that. I think I planted it upstairs in like a little, like, I, I would assume like hole in a banister or something. <laughs> Not a druid yet. I'm not good with Or like, I know there's a few like, uh, whatchamacallit, not awnings, but uh, outside walkie bits. Pathways. A little path. Okay. So I see that. I'm like, oh, the clipping. Balcony. Balcony. Okay, yeah, and I open I'm like. Okay, here, and I go outside, and I, like, pile up some dirt and, like, put some stones around it and, like, plant it down and, like, wrap a wet cloth around it so it begins to sprout. You know, I know how to cast Goodberry, right? (laughs) Uh, I don't think you do yet, but, uh, you have planted the Goodberry. Do you have Druid craft? I, uh, ooh, do I? That's a good question. I have a herbalism kit. Do you, do you have the Druid craft spell? Uh, no, I don't. Oh, okay, never mind. I should get that sometime. Uh, your good berry tree should be ready on the 1st of Eliasis. Yeah, dates. Actual dates when things will be ready. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I got that calendar. Oh, yeah. Nice. If people will remember. I remember it. I just look at it and it doesn't work in my brain. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I tried very hard. Okay, so we go. Also, I could totally pick up the silver. I have found where it says what my carrying capacity nice. and push drag lift speed is. So I can carry 120 pounds. That's several dollars. I can carry a few of them. 210 <laughs> pounds, actually. Shit, not bad. Miss Red. And uh, so with our daily deeds planned out for today, I think that is a good place to end this week's episode. Hi, I'm Gina Dazer. You can find me at twitter.com at at a Dazer, A-D-A-S-E-R. You can find uh, merch that I make at tpublic slash user slash a Dazer, A-D-A-S-E-R. I'm also on patreon.com at patreon.com slash gene underscore a Dazer, A-D-A-S-E-R. I spell it a lot. It's going to happen. And I'm also at twitch.tv slash the Panda for live streaming of arts. 
And I've been Rhythm Bastard. You can find me on my website, rhythmbastard.rocks, on Twitter, at Rhythm Bastard. You can support me by either going to rhythmbastard.bandcamp.com or subscribe to me on Patreon at patreon.com slash rhythmbastard. Uh, hey there, I'm Madison Rowan. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at quipsterrecru. That's recru spelled R-I-K-U-R-U. Uh, most of my links to art sites and everything else are on Twitter, so you can find it there. I've been Gar Atkins, and you can follow me on Twitter at at Sahoni underscore stuff. That's S-A-H-O-N-I underscore stuff. I work as a game designer and essayist, and you can buy my work at Sahoni.itch.io. That's S-A-H-O-N-I dot I-T-C-H dot I-O. And I'm Sam. You can find me on Twitter at frunding underscore loom. That's F-R-O-O-N-D-I-N-G underscore L-O-O-M. You can also hear me on Exiled, a romp through currently the DC universe hosted by our lovely Game Master Luke. And I'm Luke, your Game Master. You can find me on Twitter at Coltreg. That's K-O-L-T-R-E-G. I also have some comics that might be going up soon at LukeHair, L-U-K-E-H-E-R-R dot com, which is my very out-of-date portfolio site. Uh, Along with running the Exiled podcast, I also host Multiversal Q, which is currently Multiversal Q, your guide to the Ultimate Universe, now in podcast form, which is updating every other week with special episodes going up for movies. RPG Pals Club can be found online at rpgpals.club. We also have various other things popping up in places. Keep an eye out. We are currently updating on the 1st and the 15th of every month if you enjoy this. Please do us a favor and follow us on Twitter at RPG Pals Club. Leave us reviews on iTunes and the podcatcher of your choice. And if you really enjoy the show, let us know. Reach out to us on Twitter is usually the easiest, or we also have the RPG Pals Club at Gmail email. We'll be back in another two weeks with a new episode. So until then, keep on rolling. <laughs>